the sea. Considered one of the most vast and mysterious places on Earth, due to the incredible amount of life and water stored within it, it is no wonder that many people fear this mass that makes up 75% of the Earth's surface. Moreover, when you consider that some of the deepest and most inaccessible areas of the planet are found here, you can conclude that this is one of the greatest challenges to overcome. One that could harbor more dangers than deep space itself. What does the sea hide in its waters? It seems that this question will soon be answered. What mysteries would we find if we were able to drain the water from the entire sea? What creatures would we find? And, most important of all, would it reveal one or more species that no one has ever seen before? Not many are willing to delve into the waters of the world's diverse oceans, but thanks to technological advances in artificial intelligence, it seems that this will no longer be a problem for investigating all that lurks in the depths. That's right, a group of researchers have declared that they have found a way to investigate the most remote regions of the sea, and all this was achieved thanks to technology. What do they hope to find in those areas of the ocean? Let's get into the news. For centuries, humans have explored the Earth's mountains, jungles, and deserts, but despite covering more than 70% of the planet's surface, the ocean remains one of our greatest mysteries. In fact, we know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the seafloor. If that fact doesn't surprise you, you should know that only 20% of the ocean floor has been mapped. Less than one third of what has been done. That's a pretty big stretch to cover, especially considering that the ocean is almost inaccessible in many places. Atolls littered with shipwrecks, reefs of staggering extent, extent, seamounts of which only their peaks are known, and trenches deeper than any mountain on the surface. These are just some of the things that can be found in the vastness of the sea. And because of the high pressures, low temperatures, and abysses, it is impossible for people to reach these places by their own means, let alone capture the moment and everything around them. Yes, getting a more complete picture of the ocean seems like an impossible mission, something that allows us to navigate their waters more safely, while at the same time creating more accurate climate models, deploying cables that serve to improve telecommunications, and building ecological parks dedicated to marine life and the protection of native species. A project of this magnitude would not only benefit mankind, it would allow for a better understanding of all that makes up the Big Blue. Believe it or not, there are already groups interested in such projects, and these plans have even been dubbed the Blue Economy, a series of businesses so profitable that, it is estimated, they could be worth more than $3 billion if they came to fruition. Companies have been begun to thoroughly investigate the possibility, and if something like this is done, several of these startups are expected to see the light of day by 2030. Imagine that. People would no longer be exposed to the dangers lurking on the seabed, because robotic vehicles would be used, equipped with sensors that would transmit the data they find. All this would allow information to be gathered much faster, and the cost of sending such machines would be cheap, because these robots only need batteries to continue their work. They don't get tired, they don't eat, and they would only come to the surface to recharge or change batteries. Of course, while this is an advantage, many engineers have pointed out that it could also hinder research in certain areas, as being so far away, the machines would waste time going up and down to get their respective charge. For a few years now, the startup SeaTrek has positioned itself as one of the companies that has taken up the challenge of mapping the ocean. Founded by oceanographer Yi Chao, he got the idea for these robots from his work at NASA. While he was with them, he developed certain technological breakthroughs, which sought to propel robots no matter what area they were in. Now, these discoveries are able to take advantage of the natural temperature difference of the sea. This he revealed to CNN Business. This alternative consists of a power module, which can be installed on existing data collection robots or on a certain floating device, which was created by SeaTrack. After assembly, the 
the machine is submerged one kilometer downstream. This is in order to examine the chemistry and shape of the seabed, using sonar to create a map of the surrounding area. After analysis, the robot returns to the surface and sends its findings via satellite. As the float moves between colder and warmer parts of the ocean, the material inside the module melts or solidifies, creating pressure, which in turn produces thermal energy that powers the robot's generator. Quote, they are transported by the sea itself, so they can extend their journey almost indefinitely, Chow said. Now, in terms of cost, the base floating model generally costs around $20,000, and connecting it to SeaTrex power system adds another $25,000 to the equation. Considering that the robot's energy will be free and from renewable sources, the machine will not generate any costs other than those related to maintenance, parts replacement, and other extras. The ability to stay in the water for long periods of time is a useful addition, as it will not only allow for shorter waiting times, but will make data collection up to five times cheaper in the long run, that in Chow's words. From what the oceanographer said, the startup is in the process of manufacturing and expects to assemble less than 100 devices per year. Most of these robots are intended for various marine researchers and scientists. However, he also commented that the technology they are using is easily scalable, so it can be adapted to other mapping devices, which opens up the spectrum of possibilities to impressive levels. It's time for a break. Before we continue with today's topic, as you can see, the breakthrough this time is so great that many people are working to achieve what until a few days ago was thought impossible. This will not only shed new light on what lives in the deep sea, but could also reveal other data, such as ship sinkings, plane crashes. Okay, let's get on with the story. Quote, new technologies have opened up countless opportunities for researchers who have devoted most of their lives to ocean exploration. It is because of the wide reach of data collection devices that advances like oceanographer Chow's are so important because the most remote parts of the deep sea can now be mapped, said Jamie McMichael Phillips, director of the Nippon GEBCO Foundation's Seabed 2030 project. Quote, one of the big challenges we have is just the physics, Michael Phillips added. Unlike mapping the Earth's surface, where we can use cameras and satellites, in the sea, light doesn't penetrate through the water column. That's why we are limited to using sonar systems. Launched in 2017, Project Seabed 2030 has raised awareness of the importance of the ocean floor. Similarly, the project has given researchers and companies a clear goal to work towards, mapping the entire seabed by the end of this decade. Some companies, such as X Ocean, are surveying the ocean from the surface. Another startup, Bedrock Ocean Exploration, claims it can provide data on areas of the seabed up to 10 times faster than traditional methods. To do this, they use an autonomous electric submarine equipped with sonar, cameras, and lasers. The data is analyzed on their own cloud-based platform. Even with the growing number of technologies, which accelerate exploration of the seabed, perfectly mapping the deep sea, it remains a logistical and financial challenge. Chow estimates that at least 3,000 Sea Trek floats would be needed in operation over the next 10 years. So far, the company has raised $2 million in seed funding, which will allow them to ramp up production of their energy harvesting system. Of course, this is just a drop in the bucket of capital required to make this project a reality. Thanks to some calculations, Jamie McMichael estimates that between three and five billion dollars would be required. Quote, it would take about the same amount to send a mission to Mars. The mayor of Bedrock believes it's time we started investing in our own planet. Quote, if we want the Earth to remain a place where humans can live, he said, we have to get a lot smarter and understand what's going on in the ocean. With these comments from the spokespersons of the companies involved in the project, we conclude today's topic. Investigating and mapping the depths of the ocean has been the dream of many researchers. However, the depth and high pressure of these sections had made the task impossible. With the development of this technology and its ability to withstand the tremendous force of the water, it seems that the key to achieving the goal has been found. Now, it's your turn. What do you think of the electric robots and the plan to submerge them to investigate? 
investigate a detail at the bottom of the ocean. Do you think it's a good idea to send them? Or on the contrary, do you think they won't do much to reveal the secrets hidden in the sea? Leave us your comments and suggestions for topics for future videos. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Subscribe and support us with your like. See you next time.